what's going on guys there's here and welcome to a new tutorial and uh, in this tutorial here's a thing that I posted on Facebook and a lot of people seem to be interested in how to do this so this is a, uh, a creature a llama inside of a hypodermic injection vial I saw this image uh, let me just see if I can open it up you know of this uh, thing the bottle you know so I was like hey well let's just make it a tutorial you know just get creative with it and I kind of did this you know after some trial and error and uh, I was like hey let's uh, let's uh, make a tutorial so this is what we're gonna do um, I'm just gonna keep the image for reference here on the on the right side right let me see and I'm actually going to let me see if I can open the PSD there you go this is our my PSD here this is the original image you know uh, as you can see we got a lot of layers let me just uh, make this smaller there we go so we can see the layers so it's it's, it's okay it's not not that much but uh, it's definitely some work going on so you can see I did quite some edits at the end like uh, some uh, barrel barrel correction you know so uh, it, it's it's the bottle is not so pumped up I don't know how to explain it like like a bobbly kind of thing <laughs> um, and some color correction which you guys don't have to do necessarily let me see here let me just uh, start from the beginning now as I said I'm gonna keep this for reference so uh, just gonna see what I did you know I'm going to um, open the bottle oh the resources you're getting every single one of them every single resource so uh, check the description of the video it will link you to each and every one of them um, so we got this here and I'm gonna use this bottle and with the background and everything the first thing we're gonna do is extract the bottle you know but keeping the reflections and the dust and whatnot you know so the first thing we're gonna do is um, we're going to double click this image and make it a raster layer right and uh, let me just save the image it's gonna save it on the hypodermic thing here and uh, I'm going to grab my pen tool there we go and I'm going to start clicking and selecting this bottle I have to make a selection right if uh, you want a pen tool tutorial I will put it in the description of the video uh, it, it's uh, to extract a certain image but it's the same concept so this is a boring process I don't I, I don't like to mask images uh, make sure you have path selected here not shape so we're just gonna continue and keep adding points here so let me just uh, delete that so if you hold alt you know and uh, it, it, it removes this line here that was just there and uh, you can actually click here now because if you have that line and click here see it's gonna make this uh, this uh, thing this curve so I'm just gonna remove that and I'm just gonna keep adding points and um, try to mask the image and edit my path to uh, fit the image uh, just gonna go along the bottle just like this try to make it as accurate as possible you don't have to be super accurate but uh, since you're using the pen tool you're kind of expected to use uh, a bit of accuracy you know let me see here let me just zoom out a bit why isn't it zooming out let me check this hold on a second okay okay now it works let me go back to my pen tool and keep doing it there we go I'm holding space to move around and a hand appears you know when you click space when you press space and yeah just click around with the mouse so as you can see I'm being quite accurate with the bottle there we go let me see here no I'm just gonna click around here there we go just feel free to add as many points as you want there we go and this is our first step into extracting the bottle okay so now we selected our the uh, the bottle now you're gonna right click and then make selection and you're gonna press control C and control V and this, so it's copy <clears throat> sorry it's copy paste basically um, so if I uh, hide the background you know uh, you have just the bottle 
and uh, you're gonna want to have a background a random color background like something with a lot of stuff going on you know uh, there we go and this is just uh, to see how the bottle would look you know with uh, when it's transparent so now you're gonna add a mask here to uh, to the bottle press control uh, and hold it and click on the bottle so this is going to select the bottle now click on the mask with the selection made you're going to go to filter uh, select and then color range and uh, you're just basically going to click here you know where, where the bottle is more transparent kind of lighter you know and you, you decide what you're keeping from the image so select color range i'm going to click here for example here maybe this is going to select the Oh, make sure you have the plus here selected so you can sample more colors. So if you don't like something, if I sample the black one and I don't want it, then uh, you can just remove it. Doesn't matter. Uh, I'm just gonna. I I just need a lighter. This is this is good. This is good. This is good. We we have quite a uh, a bit of information going on here, and uh, you can play with the fuzziness and the range here. Cause, you know, it changes the range and the fuzziness. Uh, you can add more detail, remove more detail. I'm gonna go around here. The fuzziness. How much detail you want in, how much detail you want out. Uh, I'm just gonna keep it around here. 84, maybe? I don't know, maybe more. There we go, a bit more fuzziness. Let me see. And that's good. This uh, this looks kind of good. So click OK. And as you can see, it added it to the mask here. The mask is the bottle there. So if you press Control and I on the keyboard, it's gonna invert it. So there you go. You got our transparent bottle there. Um, when selecting the mask you can grab your uh, brush tool just a regular soft brush yeah and uh if you have white selected whatever wherever you paint with white it's going to show the bottle again you know see it's going to make it uh solid so i i need the cap solid so i'm gonna just uh, brush around there right and i'm gonna um, kind of like lower the opacity a bit of the brush make the softer brush a bit bigger and I kind of want the sides to show. Let me just uh, remove the background now because I don't need it at the moment. Let, let me add a solid background. Sort of like a green or something. Red. Doesn't matter. This one, right? So you, you can definitely see the bottle a lot clearer here. And the details that we saved. So just uh, click our mask again. Get your brush with white. And sort of like brush where the, the bottle is a bit more solid. Like here on the bottom you definitely see that it's it's solid you know so if I add this background again you can definitely see it again uh, okay I'll just keep this background and on the sides you kind of want to like uh, make it a bit uh, more solid you know uh, in the middle doesn't really matter like you can you can also make it uh, a bit fading out and stuff but I kind of want my needles to show so I'm just gonna remove that uh, okay let me just save this uh let me see here let me just uh blur it a bit you know filter blur gaussian blur so i can uh see the baller better so we still have color and stuff but we can see the ball so you can use whatever background you want but i really like the original background i really like the white background so i got i, I want to keep that you know uh is it allows me for more possibilities with this uh this bottle here so see you got the bottle and you can see through it there's uh, the background is I can move it here it's green I can move it here it's gray uh, so that's fun <laughs> so let me just uh, remove this there we go gonna add a background again so we got the bottle there you're just not seeing it because it's on top see so whatever you're gonna put in the image it's gonna go under the bottle so you can just um, go ahead and kind of lock it you know because you're not gonna do anything now you don't have to lock it, but whatever. Uh, I'm gonna add a new layer under it. Well, no, not necessary. Let me just import some image, you know? So the first thing I did, as you can see here, I um, I have the bottle here on top. Where is it? Is this the bottle? No, that's the vines. This is it. This is the bottle on top. So I started by adding uh, the, the, the brick stock, which is this one here. Let me just import it so you guys can see it. This is the one that I used to put inside the bottle. So I kind of like resize it. Since it's a huge resolution image, I can um, I can definitely use it in uh, this image too. So I'm just going to import it here. And uh, kind of like uh, play around with it, you know. Kind of like play with the size. 
uh, the side where you're gonna put it, you know, so uh, I'm just gonna press enter here and since it's, since it's not reaching the bottom, I don't want to stretch it, you know, and uh, I want it to have uh, you know, some uh, decent detail. I don't want to stretch it. I don't want to stretch it, stretch it at all. Uh, so I, I double, I copied it, copied it here, you know, and I kind of put it one on top of each other. So the, yeah. So what you're gonna do now is um, you're gonna rasterize this layer. Yep, because we're gonna warp it, and unfortunately, it has to be rasterized to be able to warp it. So once you rasterize it with this size, make sure to make a, co a backup copy, copy of it. And, uh, no, wait, not now. No, don't make a copy. <laughs> uh, press Control and T on your keyboard. And then right click inside of the uh, transform and click on warp. And what you're going to do is uh, you're going to drag this line down. Hold shift and drag the line down. Well, you don't have to hold shift apparently. Just a bit. And the second one, you're going to drop, drop it down like this. Wait, not that, that low. Maybe a bit, a bit higher, you know. So it kind of goes around. So imagine that the image is warped inside of the bottle. Like if you put sand in a bottle, it's not going to be a flat image. And you're going to drag this down too. You're going to drag this one down too. And the middle, you want to move it down too. There you go. So see, you got kind of like this curtain kind of look. And press enter. And uh, what you want to do now is add a mask. Add a mask to the image, yeah? Because we're going to non-destructively edit this. Well, besides the rasterizing thing that we just did now. Uh, and click the mask. And as you can see, your colors change here to black and white. If you paint with black, it's going to hide the image. If you paint with white, it's going to show the image. So I have lower opacity here. I'm just going to put it to 100 with black. And I kind of like a brush on the sides. So it kind of fades out, you know. Let me just make it smaller so uh, we don't destruct it too much. There we go. Uh, I'm just going to around the edges, you know, so that the, oops, so that doesn't show. Hold shift, to be accurate, click here on the bottom, hold shift and drag up and down. See? There you go. And, um, I'm going to make the, the thing here. <laughs> I'm gonna show you in a second, hold on. Uh, just remove the side, you know, sort of like a, a circle, a circle, uh, like an, uh, you know what I mean, what I, what I just did right now. So it looks like it's curved uh, on top, you know, it's uh, it's higher here than towards the middle and lower on the sides. So it looks like it fits in the bottle, see? So it, uh, I, I think it kind of looks like here. Well, let me just uh, lower it a bit, like in the original image, you know, just like this. Let me um, not make it so puffy in the background. So I'm going to put the hardness about 55%. I hope I'm not talking too fast or too low because uh, as you can see, it's midnight and my neighbor doesn't like that the one I do tutorials at night he kind of like punches the wall sometimes like shut the fuck up. <laughs> anyway uh there you go to make it less puffy so we can get about our solid well a bit more puffier than that let me just lower it and the image size uh, the brush size a bit bigger and let's see here how it's gonna look well that, that looks all right and um what we're gonna do now is we are going to make a copy of this yeah and we got a double copy here see oh apparently we missed a spot over there on the on the corner so i'm just going to remove that and just mask the original here let me see here here was it yeah it was there um make a copy of it and drag it down you know and press enter Oh no, don't press enter because it's not transforming. And you're just going to remove the grass. Just, uh, just don't mind it. Just bye. Goodbye. So see, you got a, like, uh, like a thing going on here. See? That looks good. That looks decent. So I'm going to save. Control and S. And we got the bottle on top. Let me name stuff, you know? Bottle. Because I didn't label stuff in the original one and I got really confused look at this this is messy don't do this label your stuff uh, gonna call this bricks gonna call this bricks too there we go so we got our stuff in the bottle right um, I can kind of see some at the bottom of the bottle here uh, so I'm just gonna have to remove that you see the, the, the thing here so just go to your mask pick your brush Lower the opacity a bit to about, let's say, 27%, 30%, you know, sort of like that. Let me show the thing again. And uh, with black selected, 
just just press over there you know so the thing goes away there we go see now it's perfect whoops cancel <laughs> almost quit um okay so now we're gonna do a few things let me check the original what did i do next let me see here well i added a shadow there obviously because the light is kind of shining from this side because it's casting a shadow over here you know so i'm just going to uh, make i'm just gonna make a group and group from layers I'm gonna call this bricks or whatever like earth or whatever you decide you don't have to do use this stock you can use whatever stock you want you can put sand in it you can put whatever you want you can put whatever animal you want um i don't know i think as of cs6 adobe photoshop cs6 you can add clipping mask groups right so it's what i'm gonna do if not just uh, add it to the individual layers here or mer merge them right right click and uh, merge layers so it's on one layer but I'm gonna have to uh, do this on a group because I don't want to merge layers. So create clipping mask, and we're gonna call this brick shadows, right? Uh, bigger brush size, really fluffy, black, and just paste it over there. Opacity 27%, as you can see here. Just a bit over there, you know. You don't want to exaggerate. Uh, let me just remove with the eraser tool on top. Let me select the soft brush, right? This time opacity 100 and just remove it here in the grass because I don't want shadows on the grass over there because the, the sun, the light, whatever, it's definitely shining over there. So as you can see, we, we're still keeping the reflections. We're still keeping the detail on the bottle. It's hitting on top of this, you know, so it definitely looks like the, the thing is in the bottle and the sides are fading. So it looks really realistic. That's what we want, you know. You don't want to go too realistic. I mean, it can look a bit uh, poppy kind of stuff, you know, like uh, surreal, because it's, it's a llama inside of a, a, a hypodermic uh, injection vial. <laughs> I mean, come on. Like, realism is not exactly our thing right now, so. Um, what else did I do? Let me see here. Added a shadow. Uh, sure, vines, why the hell not? There's a shadow, there's the llama. You don't, don't add the llama now. You don't have to add the llama now. Now, you can play around with... Um, the the vines over here right the vines are fun vines are fun for every manipulation like this um so i'm gonna import the other stock where is it there it is here we go this is the vine so not really much to do here just uh, grab your quick selection tool here w right and make sure you have this selected here the plus right and a small brush size and just click on the on the um, on the green area right there we go. So we kind of make a, less, a, a rough selection of our vines. Now click on the minus here and deselect the white spots here. See? There we go. So where the wall is basically. Just rough, really rough. You don't have to be accurate, trust me. And we're going to deselect the top side here because we don't need that wall. Who needs walls? And I'm going to deselect here. Deselect here, here, here. Just around. Doesn't matter. Now just copy paste, right? So we got it there. And we're gonna press Control and A and Control and C. And this is gonna, just gonna copy this, right? Gonna go back here, gonna make a new layer and paste it inside. And we're gonna call this vines, right? And uh, this is gonna go on top of the bottle, right? So we're just gonna zoom in, grab our move tool and just move this thing over here, right? press enter no you don't have to press enter because it's not a transform if it was like this press enter <laughs> but it's not um so we're gonna um, just uh add a mask and we're going to erase this we're using our leaf tool here leaf brush tool right so it's right now it should be kind of big wait the opacity 100 oh no it's good uh, the size apparently right here is uh, 74 pixel but this is this depends on your canvas size so in my case it's uh, 74 pixels with this brush here it's a leaf right and with black on the mask just start erasing you know so it kind of looks natural as you can see we got a lot of scattering around here can i lower that scattering where is it okay let me uh just lower it i don't want it that extreme right so lower it a bit if you if you're 
if it's uh, taking too much of the image. Oh, this looks this is perfect. Just let me undo that because I want to redo that. There we go. And here we go around here. I kind of don't want it, you know. Uh, whatever here, some some over here. Whoops, not that's too much. There we go over there, you know. And I, I definitely don't want too much over here, you know. So it looks natural, you know, because uh, it's it's scattering. You're using an actual leaf. And you see the, the the shape of the leaf of the original plant kind of looks that so looks like uh, our brush so it's kind it's it's good. There we go. Just gonna erase that. I don't like that. Um, you can, you know, just keep erasing. What did you what you don't want? I like it here, so I'm just gonna do it like this. So that's nice, right? I'm gonna make a copy of it and uh, just move it here. You know. Twist it, flip it, you know, <laughs> bop it, um, move it here, and kind of do the same. Whoops! Select the mask because if you don't, it's gonna uh, put black leaves everywhere. Select the mask and start erasing what you don't need. Just make the shape that you want, you know, on the bottle. There we go. I like that. This looks great. I think it's better than the original, like how I did it, you know, with uh, the leaves. I like this. Um. Let me see here. So if you're getting these leaves here, you know, extra stuff that you don't need, just uh, change your brush to something like uh, a hard round or a soft round, but with not too hard, you know, like 50% bigger size. Let me see the size. This is good. 36 pixels. And uh, just uh, just mask it. Just mask it out. Just uh, opacity 100. Just, just go wild. Goodbye leaves. Goodbye extra stuff that I don't need. Whoops, I like that there. I'm gonna leave that there. But this stuff outside here, like, there's no sense. Why, why would leaves be out there? And the other vines here, and just clean it up, you know? So it's not uh, making your image look poopy with extra artifacts that you don't need. So my neighbor's being kind of loud, so I'm sorry if you hear some voices in the background. Um. Okay, let's see. I also added some vines inside, you know, on the rocks over there. So, uh, uh it doesn't make any sense. Well, but we're, we're not exactly aiming to make sense right now. So, <laughs> you know, just what, what, what was fun, you know, we're creative people. We're artists. So we got the vines here and uh, I'm just going to group them. Control and G groups them, right? I don't know why I did it with the right click last time, but whatever. Going to call these vines. Uh, let's make a copy of this folder I'm gonna copy it I'm holding alt if I hold alt and drag a folder down it's gonna copy or not <laughs> okay there we go uh, and this is gonna be inside of the bottle so that's why it's behind right now see how it's fading out a bit so if I put it down there see you can now uh, I kind of like this I'm gonna leave it like that I think but I'm gonna add a mask to the group right and with the, uh, I, can you do that after Photoshop? I think as a Photoshop CS6, you can do this. I recommend Photoshop CS6. If you have an older version, then just mask these two. But I, I'm just gonna add the mask to the group now because I can, because I'm using Photoshop CC. So just grab your uh, leaf tool here, 74 pixel, not, make sure to change the scatter a bit lower, you know, and uh, start brushing away what you don't need like this. You know, there we go, over there, I don't like this here, just gonna leave a bit of it, you know. That looks nice, I like that, that's fun. Uh, and by the way, it, it just looks cool, I don't know, I, I like how the colors are they're vibrant and stuff, I'm gonna show you how to do that in a second. Um, resources, right, uh, the bottle here, the vines, vines too. What next, next, uh, let me check our original here vines shadow of the llama the llama what is this vibrance oh vibrance i can add that oh clouds why did i label this clouds there you go clouds jesus christ i am so messy i was messy with this all right the pole rail uh, the light whatever oh what if you make this nighttime like all a blue kind of tone that's a good idea and uh, uh, the light here that I'm gonna add this this thing. This is my resource. I took a picture of it when I was uh, in a park in Germany. Well, I am in Germany, so 
in a park. <laughs> um, just gonna add this here. And uh, gonna add a mask, you know, gonna call this uh, street lamp. Gonna click on my mask, grab uh, the leaf thingy, right? But it's really small this time, you know, black, zoom in and just like that. So it kind of looks like uh, it's fading into the grass, but not really. There we go. So it's like it looks like the grass is over the, the thing, the pole. The, oh my god, it's not a pole, it's a street lamp. Um, next, let's uh, see what we can do here with the llama. Should I add the llama now? Uh, yeah, sure. Let's add the llama. Come on, llama. I'm gonna drag it inside. If you drag your llama, your file is here where the layers are, on the layer or panel, it will open in a new tab here. Let me just close what I don't need. I don't need the vines. I don't need, uh, I need this. <laughs> I need the llama. So simple selection here. Nothing really complicated. Just boring, really boring selection. So just select it with your quick selection tool, pressing W. There we go. On the ear and make sure you have the plus here selected, right? And uh, you don't have to be super accurate since the llama is going to be super small, you know, inside of the image. Well, you can, people can zoom in and see the image, but yeah, it doesn't really matter. There we go. The hoof. It's, is it called a hoof? I don't know. Let me select this. Wow, well, just, it just take the whole leg. Just, uh, just thanks for leaving the grass, Photoshop. What a great tool. <laughs> Come on, Photoshop, you can do better than that. Select minus, you know, so if uh, it selected stupid shit like this, you're not gonna have a problem because you can just deselect it. And click the plus again and repeat the boring process of selecting a llama. There we go. I kind of like this. Oh, there's just a grass over there. Doesn't matter now because uh, there's grass in the background here on the bottle. Well, let me see if I miss something. No mouth, ear leg foot whatever hoof okay just press ctrl c and you just copied your llama and press ctrl v and it's there <laughs> um call this llama convert it to a smart object so uh this is to uh resize it non-destructively press ctrl t because you know if, if it were rasterized you know like let, let's say i never converted this to a smart object right so i made the llama really small and I go, oh crap, I was like, oh crap, but I want it bigger, so, oh, let me make it bigger, it's no biggie. Well, what just happened, why is it so blurry? Well, it's because you didn't convert it to a smart object. Convert to smart object, and you can make it smaller, and you can make it bigger again. Obviously not bigger than the original size, because then it's going to be blurry. But see, no problem. I'm gonna make the llama smaller and as you can see it's still behind the bottle layer and I'm gonna put it around here a bit smaller there we go and around here press enter is it that small I'm gonna make it a bit bigger it's too small there we go that looks realistic I'm gonna move it a bit here should I move the pole a bit the pole it's a straight lamp God damn it. Uh, around here that should look good yeah see we're getting there uh what else clouds make a cloud layer call it cloud right well clouds christ what brought what brush did i use uh let me see i have a ton of brushes because i use them from concept art you know hmm uh oh there you go is it this one it's this one. it's definitely that one you're gonna get this but I, I promise i'm gonna put it in the description this is the one this is the one the one and only brush that i use for clouds concept art whatever this is the one i don't know who made it i think it was someone from some site but whatever uh smaller size definitely because this this is gonna like put stuff you know <laughs> so obviously white because uh because you know white and just put some clouds oh lower the opacity lower the opacity so we can sort of like layer the clouds you know so it was somewhat gonna be lighter uh more uh, transparent kind of looking 
on top of the llama, obviously. But we're just gonna put clouds here, you know, because that's plausible. And see how it's not making them full white like before with the opacity turn to 25%. So just like this. There we go. And we're gonna click up a couple of times, you know, inside. Uh, we can put the opacity up back again now to about 45. And let me just keep it contained. Keep it contained around here. We're gonna put some clouds. There we go. I like that. And now just crank it up to 100%. And just paste it, put it on top, you know, so it looks kind of like a realistic cloud. So see, we got, well, it, it more, looks more like fog, but whatever, you know. And uh, we're going to make a new layer on top of the, on top of the bottle and call this um, clouds 2. Because we want some clouds outside. Why the hell not? Because we can, because we're creative people. So, uh, this time a bigger brush, right? Because uh, we're going to make some stuff around here. Lower the opacity as always. Okay, let me leave, leave it at 60. How that? Oh, that looks good. Let me go here. I'm using the mouse. I, I would have been way more accurate with the tablet, but with the microphone in the way, it's kind of uh, weird. And I prob probably you don't have a tablet. You know, not everybody has a tablet. Oh, you're definitely going to lower the opacity here because I don't like the look. Uh, I'm going to go like this, you know, so kind of something like this. A bit over there, a bit over here. Bigger opacity. I like this. Kind of like clouds around, you know, kind of like environment. Kind of, I think there's too much. I, th I put too much. Let me just redo that. Hey, trial and error. I'm kind of doing this like in one run, you know, I'm not cutting anything, so we're doing live. <laughs> uh, okay, just a bit here, a bit here, right? A bit more opacity over here. There we go. Come on, you can do it just like that. Come on. There we go. Finally, we got a nice one. Now I'm just going to make the size a bit smaller, you know, because I want smaller clouds too. Over there, well, not like that. Over here, a bit bigger, a bit bigger. There we go. You know, just to kind of vary it. I like this. There we go. Now that's better. That looks much better than before. There we go. A bit on top of here, here. That looks creative. So now uh, we kind of need some uh, some vibrance around here. So make a new layer uh, here. In, there's a there's a black and white circle here, half black, half white. And this is kind of your uh, adjustment stuff going on here in Photoshop, right? So select your vines for example. Vines? Oh, these are the top ones. So you're gonna make a vibrance layer, right? and clip the mask to it. Right click and create clipping mask. If I change the vibrance, as you can see, the color is either becoming uh, more less color or more, more color, you know, so it's, it's not saturation. Saturation just, just blows it up. Saturation blows it up or black and white. So we're gonna keep the saturation pretty low, plus 21, this one plus 60, 50, 60, whatever. And uh, we definitely have more vibrant, vibrant leaves, as you can see. Let me just zoom in. See? Before and after. And we're going to copy this. Yeah. Hold Alt. Drag it down to your other vines. Right click and then create clipping mask. And our other vines now are, um, are also colorful. Uh, I kind of feel like the image is a bit too warm. Like the actual background, right? This one, the background, right? Because this is where we got our uh, llama and stuff, right? So, I uh, am I'm gonna have to add a. Where is it? Where are you? Photo filter, right? Just above the background. And I'm gonna choose cooling filter. There we go. I like that. Kind of gives like a blue tone, because I don't I don't really like that. Uh, that warm kind of look to it. It's, it's I don't know. I just don't not feeling it. Let me see which blue fits. Okay, I like this one. I like this one a lot. This is definitely not like what we what I did in the original. But I kind of like this blue. I kind of want to keep it now. Oh God. Let me try. If, oh, definitely not that one. I think I like this one. This is the cooling filter eighty two. Density. Oh my god, density. I don't know. 
well definitely not like this guys don't do that <laughs> just a bit cooler you know there we go all right all right we're definitely getting somewhere i think the piece is finished but well finished finished putting the stuff in but we kind of use we kind of need to do some color correction i kind of want more vines i kind of want one going from top here to the bottom let me do that is this the top one yes it is so i'm just gonna copy this I'm gonna put this around here because i like that can i let me let me make make it like this and press enter okay let's see here where was that that uh, brush here the the leaf one there we go just oops change your scattering christ there we go opacity 100 uh, i'm not sure a bit lower size yeah a bit smaller size i mean oh yeah there we go i kind of like that i kind of like that it's a bit here to the side hmm if you press X on the keyboard, the colors will switch, the colors here switch, so I can like add leaves, you know? With cause white adds and black removes, you know. Kinda want some leaves over here. And over here. And remove them. See as I see see has a, a, I'm switching stuff around. <laughs> hmm. Alright. Why the hell not? Let's just leave that. There we go. You know, just try it out. Just, just have fun. Hmm, there's some stuff going on here that I don't like. Is it this one? Yes, it is. Brush. Hard one. Goodbye, leaves. That we don't need. You can just leave the other one. Doesn't really matter. Well, except this one here. I don't like this stuff here. There we go. Alright. We're definitely getting somewhere here. Now... What I want you to do is work a bit destructively, but not too much. So you're going to make a new layer and you're going to go to image and then apply image and OK. Yeah. What this does, it adds your entire image on one single layer. So you're going to add a, a thing that's basically in every Photoshop version. And if you don't have this thing, then I don't know, something's wrong with your Photoshop. I don't know, I'm just saying. It's the camera raw filter. Camera raw, I'm not sure when they added it into Photoshop, but it's, uh, I, I remember it's from CS4, so you should have this. Camera raw filter, yeah? And this is mostly for images, right? For pictures you took, usually in raw format or something, but it doesn't matter, because we need it right here, right now. And we, you look at this, we got so many corrections here that we can do. I can change the exposure, can make it darker, can make it brighter. I'm just going to make it a bit brighter. I don't like the, the, you see the temperature here, I can make it cooler, I can make it warmer. I'm just going to make it cooler, like this. I like that. I like this. I'm going to keep this. The original, see, was warm, kind of warm looking on here, see? Kind of like orange-ish, but I kind of like this blue, so why the hell not? back to our image here the highlights play around with the highlights you know you can lower the highlights enhance them this is too washed out too too white you know so i'm just going to remove them all the way down shadows you can make them brighter you can make them darker however you wish just gonna make it a bit darker here the whites brighter darker i'm gonna leave that there let me see blacks here hmm, hmm, hmm. tough choice and don't touch the blacks. Clarity, just a bit, just a tiny bit of clarity. Don't go overboard. And the vibrance, oh my god, look at this. This is horrible. <laughs> Not too much. Um, just a bit vibrant, you know? So we got some color going on here. Oh god, vibrance, maybe a bit more. I'm vibrant, addicted. A bit of saturation, really tiny bit of saturation. Okay, um, sharpness, sharpening. Let me go 100% here. Because I don't want to destroy the image too much, you know, so it's sharpening. You don't want to go like this. No way. Look at this. This is horrible. Just a bit of sharpening, you know, so it's crisp and detailed. You can add some luminance, but it kind of gives it like this, this weird 
flat effect. I don't like that. So luminous, just, just leave it. You can adjust a bit if you want to. There's going to be less noise, but whatever. You just play with around the detail, you know, like uh, more detail. But I, I just like to do about 25, 30, you know. Uh, effects, you can add grain. Not that much, obviously, but a tiny bit of grain. I like that. I like a bit of grain. Post or vignetting. I don't like this. Well, I, I think we can add a bit of dark, you know, you can add vi vignette, you know, what a vignette is. If you have Instagram, you know what vignette is. Either light one or black one, but uh, maybe a bit of dark vignette. Okay, minus 24 is what I'm using right now. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's check here. Okay, camera calibration. No, what was it? Okay, lens correction. You don't have to do this, but I I kind of feel like the my image, you know, the bottle, since it was, it, it was shot uh, so close with a camera and the camera kind of distorted the bottle a bit, so it's not r upright. So you can change it here. You can change the distortion. You know, See, this is what I mean. It's sort of like this, but not as, as extreme as this. So I'm just going to lower it like this. There we go. And just going to make it a bit straight. There we go. Vertical, you can change. <laughs> is that? Okay, not like that, but whatever. Uh, like this, sort of. Play around with it, you know. You, again, you don't have to do this. This is absolutely not necessarily something that you have to do. It's funky, though. <laughs> and um, this is destructive, yeah? So you don't have to do this. But I'm doing it because I want to. Because I like the bottle not as uh, as it is, you know. Hmm, let me see here, just like this. Hmm, scale. Well, no, no, don't touch that. I'm not gonna touch that. Aspect. Well, you can play around with the aspect, but it's, uh, you can make it like wider if you want to, but it's not my thing, so. There you go, just leave it at zero. Lens vignetting. Ugh. Not really, no. I just added a vignette with the other one, so eh, maybe a bit. Just a bit. Okay. Uh, sh are we done? Are we done here? Let me see here. Okay, let's uh, check the camera calibration. I forgot what this is. Green. Oh, this changes the colors of the of the greens and stuff. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna add a bit of saturation. Well, not like this, because this is gonna look like toxic leaves or something, but just a bit, you know? So it kind of looks like toxic leaves, but not that much. And a bit more of, of, of kind of like, uh... There we go. This green here, I like this. And the blue, you can play with the blue. Like, you can change whatever you want here. However you want to. Uh, a bit lower saturation on the blue. I don't want that much blue. Yeah, you can just remove it if you want to, but I kind of like a bit of blue inside, you know? Blue. Uh, are we done here? Are we done here? How does that look? I'm missing something. I'm definitely missing some. I want more sharpening. God, what is wrong with me? Okay, okay. That's okay. So, check this out. Look after, before, and after camera raw. Before and after. It's crisper, more detail, brighter colors, more vibrant, super. So, uh, obviously, if you did the lens distortion thing that I did, it's not necessary. It's going to distort the image. Yeah. So just, just crop it. Just uh, does matter. Who cares? Just crop it. Image crop. Look at this. This looks fun. Now, um, oh crap! I uh, well, this is this is the thing that I forgot in the original image too. I forgot to add the shadows and just posted it to Facebook and someone pointed it out. I forgot the shadows. So uh, for the shadows, I mean, well, um, you didn't have to use this background, but I used this one specifically, you know, so. So I gotta do the shadows. So I'm just gonna grab my llama and put it on top of the image here, you know, our main image. And I'm just gonna flip it around, put it over there, 
distorted, you know. If I hold control, wait, hold on, because I'm doing stuff too fast. You guys are probably not following. So I'm going to copy the llama, right? I, I, I press control and T on the keyboard. And if I hold control and drag a point, it's kind of distorted like this, right? So I could put it here. If you go to the angle here, to the, to the corner, it's gonna you, you're you're gonna get the rotated the rotation thing. So just kind of like put it there, just like that. Doesn't matter. It's a llama, you know. Kind of stretch it, you know, because it's a shadow, and and the, the ball is also stretched. So, um, and I like this. There's this area here that's dark, you know. So it it kind of is the earth. So where. <laughs> It's already, the shadows are already at my favor. Um, I'm going to rasterize the llama. Rasterize layer, because it's just shadow, it's just whatever. And I'm going to move it over here, right? And I'm going to click on this thing here. Lock transparent pixels. I'm going to grab my brush tool. And soft, really super soft. Just like that. Whoops. There we go. And hold Alt, and you're gonna pick the color here. This is the shadow called some dark, and you just paste it on top of the llama, right? Just like that. So you sample the the blue color, the dark blue here, and this is gonna act as our shadow. You know, so we got a shadow of the llama. Now, obviously, it's too crisp right now. So to remove the crispness, just deselect this uh, transparent pixel thing, and uh, go to filter. And you gotta play around with the blurs, like whatever you wish. I could go motion blur, I can go uh, Gaussian blur, or whatever. I can just blur. <laughs> Let me try Gaussian blur, you know, just uh, try and error. There we go. Oh, I kind of like that. But I, I think it's kind of missing a motion blur. Well, well uh, let's just add this initial 3.5 pixel Gaussian blur first. And then go to filter, and uh, let's try some motion blur. And kind of mess with the angle here. Mm, let's see here. What's the angle here? Let me just tilt my head a bit. There we go. I think that's it. Wait, no, that's too much. So, kind of like this. Oh, that looks nice. That looks like the llama shadow. Well, hold on a second here. Is it right? Yeah, I like that. And, uh, well, it's the same with the vines. The, the, the vines here, just drag them in. Sample the color and add a thing. So oh, I don't want to do that again. So just imagine that uh, the shadow of the, the, the thing is longer. <laughs> just imagine that the vines are outside of the picture. Let's just say that because it's the same thing with the llama. So I'm not trying to extend the tutorial for even longer, you know, it's a, we're already 47 minutes in. <laughs> and I can't believe I just did this in one run. I usually cut like a thousand times before doing this. So. Uh, you know, if you want to add effects to your image, you know, there's a, an awesome plugin and also an awesome filter called, uh, what's it called? Alien Skin Exposure 6. So image, apply image, you know, I, I like doing this. I like doing this. This is absolutely not necessary. Like, look, our image looks absolutely awesome. Perfect. But I like to, you know, just add filters, just play around, see what's up. And uh, this is the, the the panel you're gonna get, right? So uh, kind of like uh, blue and yellow, for example. Check this out. Oh my God, gorgeous! And what this does, this, this uh, you got you got presets here, preset uh, effects which you can use to add to your image. You know, let me see here. Cinema. We got a bunch of effects here. Like look, like a summer or whatever kind of gives it like that orange kind of look. Uh, green kind of tone kind of you know oh technicolor i think this is the one that i used for the other image i like technicolor but it's a bit too vibrant for my eyes like like the grass looks like toxic and stuff i like this the summer thing going on here sapia wizard of oz wow okay uh i like this technicolor i also add some dust particles i like those dust particles i may add it to the original image you can, you can do whatever you want, you know, like, this is not necessary. I'm just showing you off this, uh, filter. And it's, it's not free. It's not free. Don't ask me to give you the, the thing, right? Because I'm not going to give you a part of copy or something, or something, you know? It's 
go <laughs> and kind of this is a trial you know you can do a 30 day a 30 day trial and test it out if you like it buy it if not then don't yeah this this looks fun you know this looks realistic and stuff like i can just apply it right now and it's uh, on another layer here so i can just remove it or lower the opacity and kind of add a bit of it inside you know uh, but I'm not so I, I like this I'm gonna keep this so we got a llama here uh, something that I like to do but people don't always like to do is uh, make a new layer select the entire thing which with your marquee tool right click and then um, let me see here stroke inside 50 pixel i think it's 50 pixel how i wonder how much 50 pixels is going to cover from the image okay so it's at a border you know it's it's my i like i like borders i don't know uh stroke okay let's make it 100 pixels 100 color hmm white no why why not let's try white how is this well, see, it looks like a Polaroid or something, you know? You don't have to add a border. I kind of like the look of it, though. Uh, yeah. Just, uh, that, that, that's it for the tutorial. Uh, wasn't that hard, right? Um, you can play around with the settings. You can add your own images. Look, like, for example, I wanted to add a cat at first. This cat here. But I didn't, you know? Because llamas. Uh, oh! A th oh my god, I can't believe I forgot this. Uh, you can obviously add shadows to the llama with just a soft brush, you know? Like, let me just go back a bit. Oh my god, how did I forget this thing? Uh, where's the llama? There's the llama. So just make a new layer under it. And black. Lower the opacity of your brush. And size small. And just brush it. See? Just regular boring shadow oh my god this is just small detail jesus christ like i it's just not even necessary right now because it's so small but whatever and uh yeah here if you want to add shadows behind the vines let me see is this the vine yeah if you had if you want to add shadows behind the vines just make a new layer it's gonna be your shadows right so shadows and uh you're just gonna grab your um brush here with the scattering and all hmm, lower the scattering and you're gonna select black opacity about 16 and just add it there hold on let me just <laughs> put the opacity up maybe a bit too much you know and just put it over there so it looks like natural shadows you know make it a bit smaller this is a bit too big of a brush so there we go so kind of like add it under you know like where logically there would be shadows of the vines you know so like that so it's natural there we go over there for example over here not that much because it's fading out there we go right and just apply the same things again blah 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 there you go i hope you enjoyed the tutorial follow me on facebook um the link is in the description and um follow me on twitch uh not streaming recently but i will uh, don't worry i will <laughs> um and uh what else follow me on well subscribe and make sure to log, log yeah see this this is happening just before i end the video bloopers now i'm just kidding uh make sure to leave a like leave a comment uh if you have any questions just, just type a comment and I'll, i'm gonna be there gonna be answering your questions um yeah if you have any questions if you need me to do work contact me at my email address baka tutorials at gmail uh, baka is it baka tutorial yeah it's baka tutorials at gmail.com if you need some work done and uh yeah facebook very important because i post a lot of stuff on facebook and not just my the food that i cook <laughs> um yeah thanks for watching subscribe like favorite whatever share with your friends so they can also make dank art <laughs> and uh yeah i will see you guys in the next tutorial 
not sure what's going to be, but uh, it's going to be a surprise. Cheers, guys.